Hey there, this is Will again from Untied Games, and I'm here with a new devlog video. This is devlog number 15, and today we're going to be exploring a couple more new levels for Ammocopter. This is Power Generator, level 1-4, and let's get started. I haven't quite decided if I want to keep the numbering on these levels. This is actually the fifth level. I start at 1-0. I don't know. We'll think about it. So this is the level right after you get the boost ability, and I really wanted to make this level, um utilize the boost ability and show off its real strengths. So this level is going to be all about boosting, all about going fast, and uh, let's see what we got here. So uh, we've got this sort of deadly <laughs> looking room, and we've got a new object on the ceiling. Uh, let me just fly up there and see what those are. So these bumpers uh, are half strength. And I just made them blue to signify that. <laughs> you can see they don't bounce me nearly as far as a regular bumper. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the real way I want people to go through this room. And it's like this. Just zipping right through. Whoops. <laughs> Boosted the wrong way. But yeah, you can go really fast and it's really fun to just like do this right, you know? It's just so fun to go fast in this game after you get the boost ability. I just love it. It's really awesome. And you'll notice that boosting into terrain does not hurt me, uh, which might seem counterintuitive, but I didn't want to penalize the player for using the boost so much, you know? So the uh, shake effect that the player gets after they run into a wall, that's new. Uh, as of... Uh, not as of this video, but as of this build, I suppose. Um, let's see what's in the next room. So here we've got a uh, sort of puzzle room here, it looks like. Uh, we've got a plugulon over here, and I'm gonna just dodge... Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna try to dodge, so I can show you the rest of the room. we got a locked door, two plugulons, and whoa, <laughs> that almost got me. We've got an elect rope in the middle, and I don't see a way to kill these plugulons. Do you? What if I press this button up here? Let's just press that, and press that, and boom, they're both dead. So, uh, what I want to do in this room is I still want to have the player be able to use the boost uh, to great effect. So that's why this puzzle is not like the other puzzles involving plugulons, where you have to grab something, pick something up, and drop it on the plugulons. Instead, I have these buttons that you can press really fast using the boost. Like, let's uh, let's pretend I was coming into this room for the first time, okay? So let's uh, let's go out, let's come back in, and let's pretend I'm here for the first time. I can just like zip up here, press that button. Whoops! <laughs> zip down, press that button, and uh, that would be it. So I don't know. It's just really cool, and it's cool to have these uh, claws that you can't normally interact with be something that you can have an effect on. So that's really cool, and I hope to do more of that in the future. Uh, this room is a save point, thankfully I'm almost dead, so let's just save up here. There we go. And here is our big new feature in this level, rotating electropes. But not rotating like the hands of a clock, rotating in three dimensions. So this is the first time I've shown this in a devlog, and it's uh, really cool. You can see, even though I'm like... whoops. <laughs> oh god. Okay. <laughs> this is awkward. So even though I was, uh, like, visually touching these, they're in the background. In the background, right? And I can't uh, get hit by them when they are, like, faded out like that. I'm gonna save up again because while I was showing off, I took a lot of damage, so, okay. And I can pass through uh, these entire orange objects. I haven't really had players uh, have any issues with that. Um, because you do have to pass through this to get anywhere in this level. Like, it, it spans the entire corridor. So anyway, that was our little introduction to those. And uh, here we have this section that's full of them. 
So this is very much made for utilizing the boost. You, we have this big section of rotating leg ropes, and uh, yeah, you want you want to go fast to get through those. You want to go real fast to get through those. But yeah, visually those are just really cool, aren't they? Uh, we've got uh, what appears to be a secret over here. Can you see it? It's just a slightly different color, and our reward is two bolts. And you can see uh, I can have these rotating elect ropes in any sort of configuration. They can... whoops. <laughs> oh boy. That sh that'll teach me to take my hand off the controller. <laughs> um, but what I'm trying to say is uh, you can see I can offset the ones I'm pointing to down here from the ones I'm pointing to up there. So I, I can point with that mocapter. It's perfect. <laughs> so anyway, let's see what else we've got here. We've got more nuts to collect. And you'll notice I can just zip through. We've got an extra Plugulon up there. I'm just going to ignore him. Save right up. And this next room is a trap room. You'll notice both of the doors on either side closed as I entered. Uh, they were a little glitchy when I entered the room. They had to open first and then close. But anyway, we're closed in here and we're stuck until we figure this out. So we've got two buttons on the ground here. Uh, we've got two projectile cannons, and uh, the key to this room is recognizing that the area I'm in right now, this like triangle between these um, projectile cannons, is a total safe space. Uh, so that's that's the key to solving this room. So what we got to do is, whoops, we got to place both of these on the buttons, and then we're free to go. So it's not. Uh, not a very complex puzzle, it's just sort of difficult because the room is a little cramped. And because I've never really uh, given a room like this to the player before. So it's kind of fun to see what people make of it. So our next room is a repeat of the first room, except you'll notice something a little different. Instead of bumpers on the ceiling, we now have grinders, which are a one-hit kill. And that means you got a boost right. So let's see if I can make it through here. Yep, perfect. And I got 59 out of 59. So that leaves only two bolts to find. Let's see what we got in the next room. Also, I'd like to mention, I'm not 100% sure about uh, the order of these rooms yet. Uh, in particular, this room and the room before this. Let me just go back to the previous room and show you what I mean. So like I mentioned, I've been having players uh, sort of get stuck in this room because it presents like a new difficulty, a new challenge, and it's not the easiest thing to grab those boxes. You'll notice there is only one box now. That is a bug. I have no idea where the other one is. That's really fucking weird. <laughs> Excuse my language, but that's really weird. I I don't I don't think I've seen that one before, and it's never fun to find a new bug during a video recording. So here we are. But anyway, this room people have been having a little trouble with it. Maybe it's a little too difficult. And then we have this room with one hit kill objects in it. So. Uh, I don't know, I don't want to put another save point right after that previous room, because there's a save point right before it. So I don't know, we gotta, we gotta figure out what we gotta do there. I think the solution will be making that room easier. Because this this previous room with the grinders, that's a, that's a quote unquote hard room, because it has insta-kill. So before I save, uh, there looks to be another secret right above me, right up here, so I'm gonna check that out. Ooh, let's see what we got up here. Oh, watch out for those. There's three. Whoa, I'm <laughs> just bouncing all around. It's kind of fun though, isn't it? And there's four. Uh, yeah, this room isn't supposed to be particularly challenging. It's just uh, kind of a bonus room. Let's go right back down and right into that save point. There we go. And this next room is our last challenge of the level. And we, uh, you can see we have a key right here to grab. And this is sort of a new challenge. We have spinning 
electrodes that are spinning in different directions at different uh, offsets from each other. So the key to passing through these is recognizing which ones to go through. And this, uh, the boost is also very useful here. Um, you'll notice if I wanted to go through this middle one, that's not the easiest one to go through because as I go through it, let's just try it right here, it will be coming towards me and that won't work out. Luckily, we have another key. So let's try going through the bottom one. Easy peasy, I don't even need to use the boost. There's another set here that are easy to get through. And now, this one that I'm facing right here on the bottom is going the opposite way. We don't want to go through that one, we want to go through the middle one, because that's uh, going the right way for us. So let's go right through there. And uh, yeah, there we are. End of the level. Just drop that right in there. Grab the disc, and there we go. So that is the uh, power generator level. So let's see how we did. Come on, perfect. Let's see how we did here. 59, yeah, and four, all right. All right, the next level is gonna be a lot of fun, but I wanna to return to Power Generator so I can show you the awesomeness that is Quickmocopter once again. Like I said, this level was made for boosting, and Quickmocopter is all about boosting. So as a little bonus, I'm gonna show you Quickmocopter, and we're just gonna zip right through this level. Oh yeah, whoa, <laughs> gotta be a little careful with them. And there will be a sound effect added eventually for his continuous boosting. But yeah, this is this is the type of level that uh, Quickmocopter really excels at. Because, you know, Quickmocopter is not the best at precise movements in terms of, like, grabbing stuff and placing it on other stuff. So he's really good at levels that don't involve uh, moving objects. You know, with your arms. So, I'm just gonna... Zip right through here, grab our secret. Get those, get those, get those. Whoa, watch out. Get out of here. I'm gonna save again. So like I said, he's not very good at uh, grabbing and moving stuff. So he shouldn't be very good at this room right here that involves grabbing and moving stuff. Uh, luckily, I have been practicing, so I think... Oops. <laughs> See what I mean? I flew a little too far that way. Alright, there we go. Get in there. I'm just gonna zip through here very carefully because we don't want to die. Save again. So I'm really hoping this, uh, this character will be sort of the speedrunner's choice. Uh, it's just really fun to move around with them. It's really fun to have this tight turning ability with uh, really good, you know, control over him. Um, I don't think I've actually tried Quick Mocopter in this room. Let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, we, we got this. Whoops. There we go. We got this. See? It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to make those uh, precise movements and just, you know, have a lot of fun going fast, you know? It's all about going fast. And this is a bug. <laughs> uh, I don't have the H HD pixel art ready for Quick Mocopter's head, so it just loads normal at Mocopter's head. So yeah, that's Quick Mocopter in a nutshell, and I can't wait to add a whole bunch more characters, and I'll see you next time for uh, the next level. So without further ado, I'll see you guys next time.